this is methods of work and energy build up your understanding question number 17 from the book pathfinder so question is that in the setup and almost inertial is so this is almost massless it is suspended horizontally with the help of two identical springs these are two springs stiffness k and two light inextensible cords that passes over the fixed pulley so these are two fixed pulleys and two counterweights m and m now a small disc of mass 0.01 m is placed at the midpoint so the, you can see this is the disc here and there's a block this is the block of 1.99 m is suspended with the help of light cord so this is the cord you can see and it is passes through it is passing through a hole in the bar so there is a hole in between and the string crosses that now question is if the cord is cut if suppose this cord is cut then up to what maximum height will the disc jump so you have to find out what will be the maximum height of this if you cut this cord right so let us understand a very conceptual and good question so here before cutting this is the free body diagram this is in equilibrium so tension in this string will be mg in this spring also it is mg here also it is mg so the free body diagram of this rod which is massless is this mg mg and then there is a normal force between the disc and the rod which i have i'm calling as n and it does not have any mass so um, there is no gravity for this you can see from here n equal to mg now this is a free body diagram of disc you can understand the normal x and x in force and then mass of this is 0 0.01 mg and then there is a tension in this string which is equal to 1.99 mg so from here also you can see n is equal to 2 mg okay fine so we have to find out how much what will be the height max height of this after this string is cut right so what is going to happen a few points which we have to understand now first is that after cutting the string since bar is inertial is rod is massless net force on this has to be zero right so you can imagine this way so when you cut this then what's going to happen this will have there will be some force on this right if you imagine that this mass is very small not zero to visualize then what will happen there will be some force so acceleration of this will be very very large as compared to this right because mass of this is very large as compared to mass of the disc it's almost tending to zero so both of these will move together such that net force on this becomes almost zero okay so bar and disc will move together there will be a normal force that normal force uh, normal force due to the disc on the bar will balance this force fine and then again now second thing when you see that mass of this is very very small as compared to mass of this right so the acceleration of this since force is same you can see same string or same spring so force is same since this mass now mass of the disc right i am making another argument now mass of the disc is very small as compared to this one by hundred so the displacement of this will be large as compared to this right so for a initial few seconds we can assume that this is infinite mass as compared to this and this will have when there is when this mass is already gone so this will start moving up right okay so that is what i have written here since mass of the disc is very small as compared to the mass m displacement of m will be very small so we can assume that in that time when uh, natural length of the spring becomes or a spring comes to the natural length in that time the displacement of this is going to be small very small as compared to this so you can assume that only this is moving what is this is rod plus disc system fine so let us see now this is the equation of uh, disc plus rod mass of this is um, 0.1 mg you can see this is going to perform shm i have not written the equations you can write the equations kx minus mg equal to ma and then now if you see here this is the natural let us assume this is the natural length then where will be the mean position of this of course this is uh, one extreme position because here velocity is zero so this is the extreme position this is actually after removing this mass. so let me just remove this thing here okay so after this now this is the natural length and mean position will be what mean position is going to be kx net force equal to zero at mean position net force is zero so x is equal to 0 0.1 mg divided by 2k which is very small so what i'm going to do now i'm going to assume natural length and mean position 
they are almost at the same place. So this is considering this assumption. This becomes what? This is extreme, and mean is almost a natural limb. So makes this as amplitude, right? So what is the velocity? So what we are going to find out now. First, this disk will go up to here, and then now at this point, since the spring force becomes zero, or at this point, when a spring force becomes the weight of this, right? That time this will lose contact because force on this will become zero. After that, there cannot be any contact force. At that instant also, there cannot be any contact force between the disc and the bar. Again, what will happen? Net force on this will become non-zero. So it's going to lose contact when it comes to the mean position. Since mean position and the, uh, natural length are very close by, so I'm using this, I'm interchangeably using these two, sometimes mean position, sometimes. So you understand this, right? They're almost at the same place. So what I'm going to do now, directly I can find velocity and mean position, which is A omega. You know this result, very famous result, V max equal to A omega. A I'm taking as mg by k, right? So maximum height from this point will be what? After that, it is going to lose contact because if the spring force is zero, the normal force also has to be zero. So it's going to lose contact. So when it is going to lose contact, then V naught square by 2G, it is under gravity. This will be the max height. Omega, what is omega here? Omega is root over 2k by m, the spring force divided by mass, this mass. And then if you do this, you get 100 mg by k. So from this point, original point, it will be actually 100 mg by k plus this mg by k also, which is 101 mg by k. That is why the answer given is almost, sorry, the answer given in this is almost 100 mg by k, right? So conceptually, it's a very good question. You have to uh, make certain approximations, justified approximations based on the given data. So these kind of questions have come in advance many times where you have to make proper assumptions based on the data given. On, and those are little bit, uh, those questions are a little bit on tougher side. So those are rank deciding questions. So this is one such question. Some modification can exactly come into J advance. Thank you very much for watching. If you have liked this video, please uh, give a like to this video and please subscribe to this channel also. That will help me a lot. Thanks a lot. All the best. We'll meet again.